What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Smithify Podcast. The very unprofessional, but yet interesting podcast. We're very unprofessional. I literally recently just got a chair with a backrest, so that tells you how professional we are. But welcome back to the Smithify Podcast, episode number eight. Today, we're going to be solo. And it's the first time I've been solo in a couple of weeks. We had Exotic on two weeks ago, and we had my real-life friend Greenmeyer on a week ago. So yeah, it's great to get it's great to get guests on the show. But to be honest with you, I feel like the, I, li- I really like doing the solo episodes the most. I think because I mean they're a lot harder to make. Like it's a lot harder to keep a conversation going by yourself for an hour than with people. But this might sound a little selfish. But the reason, at the end of the day, the reason I'm doing this podcast is for myself. Now that sounds selfish, but if you if you guys take stuff away from this, that would be awesome. Like that that that's a goal of the podcast too is that people listen to it. So sit down, play games, zombies if you want, start some Minecraft. You know, maybe I mean I'm talking to my future self. Maybe you're probably I was thinking like sitting in a bus ride to a basketball game or something. You're probably listening to this right now. What's up, dude? Just put in the headphones or do whatever and just listen listen to the podcast. It's great if you guys want to listen. But at the end of the day, I'm doing this for myself because I say this like every time couple years from now i'm going to be looking back at this and i'm going to be self-reflecting and i'm going to see how stupid i was or how smart i was how smart i was and yeah that's that's why i do this it's it's so much fun like i say this like all the time but i recommend everybody to record a clip of yourself right now just say some ideas that you think you know start a podcast if you want it's just it's just use the tools of the internet just use the tools of the internet it's so incredible and i love doing this and anyways this is the weekly Sminify podcast every sunday Keep checking back if you want. If you enjoy it, that's epic. Hit the thumbs up. Okay, anyways, this is my podcast, which I probably said that word 5,000 times. I'm sorry, Nacho. I try not to. But yeah, this is our eighth episode already, all right? And I remember listening to the first episode of the Smith Squad podcast. Uh, the Smith Plays podcast, I mean, yeah. And in that, he said, if you get 10 episodes in, it's a successful podcast. 10 episodes, and it's successful. And at that time, I was like, that is such a small number, like 10 episodes. That's nothing. But now that I start doing them and like each one were like an hour and one minute long, cause I have some OCD or whatever. I got it. It's gotta be perfect hour and one minute for all of them. I'm realizing how difficult it is to do these shows. Cause like I'm only on number eight and I mean, I I plan to keep on going. Obviously I want to keep this going. It's a lot of fun, but my biggest problem is that I'm finding it like so hard to find new content to talk about. I literally feel like I'm repeating myself every single time. But nevertheless, we're back. And I just want to keep building up, stockpiling this, this these audios of me talking. There, I found a synonym for podcast right there. These audios of me talking so that in a couple of years I can look back. And I've got all this content to look at and self-reflect. And it's going to be epic. I hope you guys, I don't know, want to do the same thing because I think it's epic. But anyways, I thought 10 episodes was going to be was going to be like nothing. It's going to be easy, easy. And then I start and I'm like, holy crap, this is a grind. This is so difficult, especially for me. Well, first of all, my first problem is that I prepare for these like a couple hours before. I should probably be thinking of topics throughout the week. But like this one, I prepared for (laughs) like this morning. Um, I probably should have recorded this yesterday, to be honest. But anyway, it's currently Sunday at 2.30 p.m. I don't know when you guys are listening to this, but it's going to come out today. And oh, oh, here's I got to thank you guys so much for 500 subs. Thank you all so much. We recently hit 500 subs and that's incredible. Because here's the thing, on my old channel, the Game of Ninja Turtles, the most subs I ever had was 570 when I was active. Now it's got like 576 because I think a couple of you you guys went over to subscribe to it, which is awesome. If you guys want to see my old cringy content, sure, go over there. But anyways, that channel is going to be dead forever. But yeah, that channel hit 570 subs. And it took us like five years. It took us five years to hit 570 subs, which is, to me, a long time now. But back for my, like, 13, 12, 13-year-old self, that wasn't a long time. Like, I remember, what did I do? I think it was the entire school year it took me to get 50 subs. And in May, I made a video. I was like, oh, thank you guys so much for 50 subs. This is incredible. And then it took me all summer to hit 100. And then it took me a whole nother school school year to get to 200. And it was just, we were going so much slower in this. And now we're, like, eight weeks into this new channel. I've been grinding. And, yeah, we've got we've got almost 600 which I'm sorry for that because the 500 subscriber special special is not out yet. And I've, well, I'm have i at like 570 right now, which thank you guys so much. Like, that's crazy. Yo, this channel is just, it's been growing pretty steadily. And it's just awesome because it's always something I wanted to have. It's just a nice small community that I can talk to. And I've kind of got that with our Discord server. There's a lot of people in there. Thank you all for joining that. Thank you all for joining the Minecraft world. This is just, it's awesome, man. I really, 
I love doing this. It's so much fun. And it's once again, the reason I came back is because I got bored. Like I just, I like to make videos and I came back to start this channel just simply because I was bored of not making a video. I hadn't made a video in like a year for school projects or anything. And I was like, it's time to come back. So here we are. We're back. And I just thought I'd get that out of the way. I gotta thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers because you guys are probably like, where's the 500 subscriber special coming? And I think it's gonna come out tomorrow night. It's gotta come out tomorrow night. Come on. Come on. I feel like I've been getting a little lazier recently with my work with these live streams because live streams are like so much easier compared to making a video. And the sad thing is like live streams perform better most of the time, like subscribers wise. I don't know if subscribers from live streams stay as much as people who subscribe for videos, but it really hurts when like... <laughs> Yeah, like it's fine. At the end of the day, I appreciate everybody who subs and takes the time to watch my content, but it does hurt me when I spend like eight hours making a, like a six minute video that does a lot worse than like a, a four hour live stream. And yeah, man, the live streams are just so much easier and usually they give me more subs and sometimes the videos don't perform well and it makes me sad, but it's all good. It's all good. I mean, <laughs> here's the thing. I got to look at where I'm at, man. On my old channel, I think I just posted only videos and they each got like four likes because it was just me and my friends. So I got to look where I'm at. I've improved so much over the last couple of years, YouTube wise. And it's awesome that now I actually have people who will comment. You guys are epic in the comments and the likes and everything. Thank you all so much. 500 subscribers special coming out tomorrow night. I appreciate y'all. You guys are epic. But anyways, yeah. Welcome to the Sminify podcast. Let's go. We stockpile these bad boys up. We got to keep them coming every single week because uh, here's the thing. I just, I have this fascination with time. Like, I feel like I'm just constantly looking for my future, looking into the past. I just, I just kind of live in the present and just look what I got. But like, I'm just, I'm so fascinated with this, this idea that I can look back on myself years from now. And it's just, it's epic. And that's why I do these things. It's so much fun and it's crazy. And people always talk about, we need to get a time machine built. When people get a time machine, I'm going to do this. If we ever get a time machine, I'm going to do that. First of all, I don't know if a time machine is possible. But then again, like 40 years ago, people would have been like, I don't know if, if an iPhone is possible. But right now, I'm here to tell you that we as people, we have got a time machine at our disposal. We have got a great time machine in the form of the internet or YouTube. YouTube is a time machine in itself, but the internet is also a time machine. Like literally what I was doing yesterday just to prove if YouTube was a time machine. I typed in July 22nd, 2007, and I just typed that into the search bar, and a whole bunch of videos just popped up from July 22nd. There was, like, a bird, like, taking a bath in a pan or something. I was like, what is this? But I don't really care. It's from July 22nd, 2007. You could type in, like, pretty much any date in the past, like, 15 years. Well, maybe not that long. But anyway, <laughs> and you'll get videos from that time. It's so incredible. YouTube is a time machine, everybody. It is. Like, especially me. I have videos of myself from seven years ago on, on, this, on this platform. So I look back at that. And it's incredible. And you can look at videos from like the 80s. You can read news articles online from like the 70s. It's everybody. We have a time machine at our disposal. You can look up old Fortnite gameplay, old Fortnite seasons. You'll find it all on the internet. You can find anything. You can find it all. So, I mean, everybody else is caught up in trying to build a time machine. I'm telling you, we already got one. We got. It might not be physical. YouTube you not, you might not be able to physically live there. But it basically gives us a great a great showing of what life was like back then. Like... There's a recent video that's popped up and like everybody's recommended, I think, mine included, of like the class of like 1994 graduating or something like that. And somebody's just walking out with their camcorder back in 1994, their handheld, just huge thing. And like everybody's just wearing baggy clothing. Everybody has no phones. They're just walking around. Like you can see how much different life is back then through our time machine, which is YouTube, because there are videos that exist of those times. And it's it's incredible. And it's it's awesome. And I'm just <laughs> I'm so fascinated by it. And it's good stuff. It really is. So yeah, I just, you want you guys just go look up any date and you'll find videos on it. It's really interesting to see. Usually they look like potatoes. They were shot with potatoes, but nevertheless, it's good stuff. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just here to let you guys all know that we do have a time machine already. <laughs> it's YouTube. But anyways, let's get in. Let's get in to the one takeaway I had from this week, which it recently happened. It was like last night, but <laughs> because I, I usually don't write any ideas down all week until like this morning. So I just had this, this idea last night pop up. So I just wrote it down this morning because one of these weeks I'll start writing ideas throughout the week. And here's what it is. It's all right. We all know the clothing brand Nike. All right. It's literally, it's literally just their slogan. Just do it. All right. Just do it. 
Nike slogan, just do it. It's so simple, but I thought about it. And it, I think there's a lot of truth to it. All right, here, let me explain. All right. Here's what I was doing. All right. Here's a weird source, but I was listening to Logan Paul's podcast, Impulsive. All right. I don't listen to all the episodes, but I listen to some of them. And to be honest with you, Logan Paul's a much better creator than he once was. Like his videos are actually really good. I mean, his podcast is pretty good. I listen to some, some of, sometimes I do. But it was an episode. Oh well, Jake Paul. Jake Paul's too far gone. We, we don't have to talk about him. But Logan Paul's changed. But anyways, it was an episode where Jake and Logan were interviewing their great, were, <clears throat> were interviewing their dad. I can speak. Interviewing their dad, Greg Paul. And Greg Paul was talking about the time he had a heart attack. And while he was having a heart attack, he he instinctually thought to himself, instead of instead of waiting for the ambulance to come get me, I just got to drive myself to the hospital. His instincts just kicked in. He hopped in his car and he just took off driving down the road with a heart attack going on, which I wouldn't advise. That's probably not a very smart idea. But nevertheless, he just followed his instincts, didn't wait for the ambulance. I mean, everybody was telling him, don't do it. The person on the phone, 911, was like, pull over, pull over, which he probably should have done. I know this is not the best example for this. He should, probably should have listened here. But he just listened to his instincts and he drove himself to the hospital. And he ended up surviving the heart attack, which the doctor said if he wouldn't if he wouldn't have just got up and driven himself to the hospital, he wouldn't have survived. And what he said after surviving in the podcast, he said, As people, we are taught to not trust our instincts. And I put some thought into that. I was like, that's true. As people, we really are. We're really taught not to trust our instincts and not do what we think is right right away. To think like there's oh there's there's gotta be a way to do this. There's a procedure to do this. There's something that we have to follow to do this. We're so used to getting taught that that oh here's how you do this thing. Here's how you do that. Here's the procedure. It's just sometimes you just gotta trust your instincts. Sometimes you just gotta trust your instincts. You gotta stray away from the path because to be I think trusting your instincts is gonna do you more than good than it's gonna do you wrong. Like in Greg Paul's case, it saved his life, which is epic. And I took the idea from Greg Paul that we're told not to trust our instincts. For of all people, this is from Greg Paul. And I applied it to my content and how I live life. Because here's the thing. One of the ways I'm trying to live my life right now is if I have an instinctual, if I just have an idea pop up in my head, I just I just try and do it. It's that simple because here's the, I think a lot of people just have these ideas pop up in their head, but then they shoot them down because of how others are gonna how others are gonna think about it. Like for example, when when I started the podcast, I was like, this is gonna be a terrible idea. People are just gonna like, whoa, you made a podcast, that's stupid. Why? Like, how are you this is not good, this is gonna be terrible. Like the first episode that we recorded, which I oh my I deleted it. God dang it, I should have kept it. It was me, Matt, and Nacho, and it was just a terrible episode. And we went for like fifteen minutes and just gave up. I was like half asleep. I should have kept that audio recording. But I didn't believe in it at all. Like it was just an idea that popped up in my mind one day. They said they support me. So I just went through with it. And now here I am. I am just I'm really happy with how this pot it's not like I'm just the biggest thing ever. Oh look at look where I'm at now. Look where I'm at now. I'm just the biggest thing ever. But it's just, I have, I love, like, I love this podcast. It's good stuff. And yeah, and here I am now. I have eight episodes already to look back on. And if I wouldn't have followed through with my instinctual idea to just get it done, get going, start the podcast, I wouldn't be here right now speaking into this microphone. And I think we just live in a world where it's so easy to just shoot people's ideas now, shoot people's ideas down that people worry too much. And do they just, okay, I have this idea. I really want to do it. I really want to pursue it. But then they just have this idea that other people are just going to be like, no, no, you cannot do that. And then they just decide not to go through with it. And it's just, it's so easy to shoot people down nowadays and just be so negative. The internet is a terrible place, but at the, at the same time, it's a good place. I mean, that's, that's up for a debate. Is the internet better or worse for people? I really don't know. It's, it's, there's so many pros and cons to everything on the internet. It's at the end of the day, it might be, it might be at the end of the day, I think the internet's good, but I don't know. My mind could be changed on that. But yeah, I'm just living with the motto now. If I just, if any idea pops up in my head, I'm just going to try and get it done as quick as I can. Here's the recent ideas that popped up in my head. I wanted to do a, a top five zombie series. I wanted to start that. And I started that this week <clears throat> in the first video, which I thought was not very well done. I was, I'm going to be honest with you. I was kind of lazy with that video. I just, some of the footage was from like my live stream. So it looks trash and like 720p, 30 FPS. It was, some of the gameplay was terrible. And also I was talking at like 3,000 words per minute the entire video, which nobody commented on, which I was surprised. I gave myself a headache listening to that video back. But yeah, I just had that idea. I just had this idea inside of me. Hey, I should start Top 5 Zombies. It's an idea that everybody's done. 
and nobody asked is asking for it. Nobody on my channel is saying, Oh, you should do top five zombies. Nobody asked <laughs> literally. So nobody asked. And I was like, I'm just going to do it. Cause I, ha I just had this idea inside my mind to do it. And I followed through with it. And I made that video and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's got, it's got a lot of likes and I'm happy with it. It's, it's got, it did, it performed well. And I couldn't really ask for it to perform, for perform any better where I'm at right now. It performed better than my long edited videos, which it does kind of hurt when like the long edited videos don't do as well as the, as the time, as the videos that I didn't put as much time into, but that's, that's just how it goes. That's just how YouTube goes. Sometimes I just got to deal with it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm just living with the motto. If I got an idea, I'm just going to get it done. Like the podcast I got done top five zombies. I started, I got that done. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, the Minecraft world. I started a community Minecraft world. I had no idea how that was going to go. Nobody asked again. I just opened it up. That was like a week and a half ago. We we're already getting, now here we are. We got 11 episodes done. They're each like three hours long, which is crazy. It's actually like, <laughs> thank you guys so much. Okay. Here's the thing. I always start the live streams and I'm like, okay, today we're only going to be going like two hours, but then the support and you guys just keep on watching and keep on playing. Probably because like half the time, like half you people watching the live streams are also playing the game. But people will stay to watch, and that's epic. And then when I want to end the stream, everybody's like, no, don't end it. I will stay here until you end it the last second. And I really, I appreciate the support, so the support so much. That's the only reason, that's the only reason live streams are good, is because you guys are so supportive, and you're, like, typing, playing. But, yeah, that's another example. I started live streaming, and I started the world, and it was just it's just this idea I had, and I followed through with it. And now it's working out very well, and it's it's one of the biggest series on my YouTube channel recently. And that's the thing, like, I'm kind of sacrificing time with that because usually I edit videos late late at night. And recently, instead of editing videos, I've just been doing the Minecraft series. So I'm kind of disappointed with my content recently, to be honest, because I look back, like the past week I've had like four videos probably of the Minecraft series, which are just live streams. I know nobody's going to want to go watch those back. Nobody likes to watch live streams. And I'll post like two well-edited videos. As a matter of this week, I think I only had one well-edited video. And then, and then I look back like three or four weeks ago and I had actual like I was uploading like three or four well edited videos in a week and this week I only posted one and it really makes me feel kind of lazy to you guys I don't know if you guys feel like that if you guys are feeling lazy you should DM me on discord tell me if I'm making lazy content but I feel like I'm just turning into a live streamer which is really what I don't want to be known as but the Minecraft worlds are just so much fun I got to keep them going and yeah I want to start making more well edited videos with uh, to post to you guys but I don't know, school is just getting in the way, passion, motivation, uh, work's going to be coming, and it's summer, it's summer, everybody, it's summer. I recently, just this past week, I, oh, that that might be why my content is, I I don't know if you guys think my content has been a little worse this, this week, but I really do think I've been slacking this week with the content. Like, for example, the 500 subscriber special is going to be coming out tomorrow night, and I hope I'm going to be close to 600 subs, like, I'd already... Like, I already think I'm close to 600 subs to where I'm at right now, 570, but I never, I might leave lose, like, 50 subs overnight, which would be sad. But, yeah, I really, like, the 500 subs special should have been out a couple days ago when I hit 500 subs, but I wasn't ready, and I just, it's summer, and I just go outside instead of working on videos, which is good. I really do think it's better for me to be going outside than working on videos, but I need to, I need to find a way to balance, to balance time, to balance time better. I really, I'm just the person some days I have crazy motivation to get stuff done. Like this Monday, I, I got like all my schoolwork done and that was good stuff. But then other days I just, I have no motivation. I will just do nothing all day. I don't know why I'm like that. It's so stupid. I hate that. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so up and down some days. I just, I just need to get a schedule made to be honest. And as I start making videos here, I'm starting to develop somewhat of a schedule. Like, all right, here's what I want to do weekly. Okay. Here's the weekly videos I want to make. I want to post one top five a week, at least one top five a week on a Friday. Cause I just think, I think a Friday is just the best day for a top five. I don't know, but a top five on Friday, a podcast on Sunday, at least one funny moments video a week. And that's got three days out of the week. All right. So I got three days planned and then maybe a Minecraft invention. Like, okay. I haven't done a Minecraft suggestion video since since April 1st, and I really like those. I don't know why I stopped doing those videos, but they were a lot of fun, so I need to bring those back, those Minecraft builds. I mean, I think you guys seem to like them. They were pretty fun. But yeah, the Minecraft build series will probably be coming back. So that's that's four videos already out of the week, so that's four days out of the week. And then I'll probably get like three live streams in, two or three live streams. And yeah, I just need to get a schedule made so I can hold myself to it because I'm really... 
some days I'm just lacking motivation to get stuff done because I don't know what to get done. And I just need to, I need a schedule. I, need, I do need to get a schedule and it's better for you guys. I get comments all the time. Are you going live tonight? Are you going live tomorrow? When are we doing this? When are we doing that? And it's just, it's crazy. It's a grind. It's a lot. It's kind of hard to manage, but it's all good. So if I just had a schedule, we wouldn't have these problems. But yeah, that's where I'm at with the schedule. That was kind of, what were we talking about? See, I think we were talking about, uh, where, oh, we had Greg Paul saying, let your instincts. Okay, so yeah, so that was me going off on a little tangent there. But yeah, yeah, just do it, everybody. If you have an idea, I, if you have an idea, just do it. Like, just, okay, here's the deal, everybody. We're only here for like, we're on this earth for like 100 years if we're lucky. If we're lucky, we're here for 100 years, right, everybody? If we're lucky. But to be honest, most people are going to be here for like 80. Or it's like 79 is the average. And uh, if you have an idea, just go do it. Just do it, just as Nike tells us to do. I mean, there are some guidelines. Make sure it's like morally decent. Don't have a goal to go kill people. That I wouldn't accept that. But if you have an idea to do it, just do it, everybody. At the end of the day, we're only here for 80 years. What do you got to lose? Why should we live fearing what others are going to think of us? We just got to get it done. I mean, I've gotten to the point, if I get an idea, I'm just going to follow through with it. Again, I'm not the I'm not a perfect person. I hope I'm not coming off like I'm sounding like I'm just the best person ever. <laughs> I mean, no, I have I have my I have a lot of problems. I'm not I'm not the best person ever. And yeah, it's just we only have a hundred years, everybody. I mean, at the most, there's a song by like fighting for somebody. I don't know who the, who the artist is, but it's just called a hundred years, and they just talk about how growing up, like your best wish while growing up is to just be 15 years old. And it's just just don't be limited. Okay, don't limit your productivity by others opinions don't have others people bring you down if you want to do something get it done and do it quick that's literally that's my advice for you just do it get it done because the chances are here's the thing the chances are it's probably a good idea and like the top five zombies i think that was a good idea i think i'm gonna keep doing that now like you guys seem to like that the podcast is awesome i really like doing that this the minecraft survival world is awesome so i'm just getting lucky i'm just having these ideas pop up i'm doing them and they're a lot of fun and i'm just not second guessing myself i'm just going in and i'm getting it done and like, here's the thing. I had an idea to do a podcast. Now, if you know me in real life, you know, a podcast <laughs> would be like the last thing you would expect from me. Because here's the thing. In real life, I am, I'm definitely the quiet kid of the group. I'm not like the weird quiet kid, but I'm definitely like the quiet one of the bunch. Like I, I'll never have anything to add to the conversation. I'll say my two words and then I'll, then I'll dip. And yeah, if you knew me, that's how I am. And I feel like, I feel like. On YouTube, I come across as a completely different person. Not that I'm, like, fake on here. But I just, like, I feel like, like, I'm a big introvert. But on YouTube, I feel like I just come out and I just say what I want. It's a lot, I feel a lot more comfortable talking on here. I don't know why. Basically, probably just because I'm not in somebody else's presence. And, like, (laughs) when I'm in somebody else's presence, I honestly just, I just, like, forget about what, I just forget what to say. I just... I just throw in my thing to con- uh, into the conversation. I don't really make any goals to keep it going. But on YouTube, I feel like I just come off as a completely different person who just keeps on grinding. Like, I'll, I'll always have stuff to say in the YouTube and during the live streams, during the podcast, I guess. Sometimes I I usually run out of ideas like halfway through and then I just stall the rest of the time, which is the truth. I, I wonder if that's very noticeable. I haven't listened to a couple of podcasts recently, but I wonder if that's very noticeable. Very noticeable. But on this platform, I just feel like I come across as a different person. And it's not like I'm fake. Like, I'm completely different as I act in real life. Like, I'm not fake. Like, I, I'm not fake, all right? I'm not fake. I get, keep that stuff away from my channel. That's my goal. Keep that out of here. But I'm just I'm just quiet in real life. And then on YouTube, I just come out here and I just... I feel like I just sound like a completely different person down here. Like, I think a podcast is just the last thing people would expect from me. And it's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, and like, doing a podcast, it's not easy for me at all. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at doing this. I'm not good at keeping conversations going, which is one of the goals I said in episode like zero. I said I'm not good at like keeping conversations going, and I want to start this podcast to get better at that. And at this point, I've basically accepted the fact that I don't think I can really change that. I think I'm always going to be the same socially awkward person that I am right now, no matter how many podcasts I do, because I think it's just kind of how I am. Like, I'll always just be awkward. <laughs> you have the face-to-face conversation, I'll just throw in my couple words, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, I don't know, it's just how I am. I don't know if I can change that. Like, I've just like I thought this big this podcast would just change everything for me, but at the end of the day, I'm pretty much just the same person with a podcast. <laughs> Where not oh, how intense have I said podcast? God dang it. I'm trying not to. Anyways. This is awesome. I love this platform because I can just say whatever I want. 
and it's it's a lot of fun and it's so perfect because now I can just get guests on there. I, I got a lot of people who say they want to come on, which is just epic. And I just thank you all so much for the support. And yeah, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you all so much. Let's see where that even come from. We were talking about, what was it? What was it? It, ooh, it was Greg Paul saying that as a society, we're told not to trust our instincts. Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, everybody, just do it. Here. Coming from me, all right? If you have an idea... Just do it. Who cares what others are going to think? Okay, there is... I do think there's a line that could be drawn. Like, I've seen those TikToks where somebody's, like, doing this real... There's a dude just doing this really cringy dance, and then the person duets it, and they're like, I'm so happy I have friends who would bully me if I did this. Like, that's not the best TikTok to make, but I feel like there is a line that you have to draw between a good idea and a bad idea. I'm not there to draw it. I don't really know. I mean, you have to be morally decent, but at the end of the day, if you have an idea, just follow through with it, please. Just do it, because who knows? That idea could just be... It could turn out to be great. And so far for me, I think I've had some good ideas, which have turned out really well for me. And if I wouldn't have taken the initiative, if I would have just thought, kept thinking, thinking to myself, people are going to think this is a terrible idea. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have this community that I want to have right now. So I just, I didn't like, I'm the type of person I, I'm think about things a lot. So whenever I start something new, I'm like, Oh, people are going to hate this. They're going to hate this. Like that top five that was premiering. I couldn't watch it live. Cause I just, have this feeling that other people are just going to be watching it. Like, oh, what is this opinion this guy has? This guy's stupid. He doesn't know what he's talking about in zombies. But yeah, just, you guys get it. Just just go do it, please. And if you guys want to show me your content, hey, send it to me. And I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I think of it, all right? All right? I'm, I'm the type of person. I really don't like to start beef, though. So I don't know. It's tough for me. It's tough for me. But anyways, I feel like I've repeated myself 6,000 times. If you have an idea, everybody, go ahead and do it. Send me, tell me your idea if you want. Just do it. Just do it, all right? Just do it. Follow your instincts. Instincts are great. They're going to probably help you more than they're going to hurt you. And yeah, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, it's really worked out well for me. And I'm, I'm not perfect, but I'm not even close to perfect. But yeah, follow your instincts. And yeah, at the end of the day, just, it's kind of cliche, but just, just be happy. Just do what makes you happy as long as it's morally decent and yeah, just just be happy, everybody. I just want everybody to be happy. Like, it hurts me to see people in pain. Like, deep down inside, I really, I feel like I have this ability. I can really just tell them people are hurting, even if they're not saying it. And it just hurts me deep down inside when I see people suffering. And it's just, I want everybody just to be happy. That's my goal. That's why I try to, like, entertain people. If you guys think this is decent, I want to help people someday. Like, for example, if I ever got, if I ever got big on YouTube and I had, like, some sort of power or, like, some sort of persuasion or, like, one of the things I'd like to start is like some platform for small YouTubers to get noticed. Cause I think there's just a whole bunch of talent out there that's not getting recognized. And I feel like there's so many people out there that are having such a hard time advertising their YouTube channel. That's why recently in the discord, I made a self app promotion tab just because I know how difficult it is to get your channel out there. So yeah, if I, that's definitely one thing I'm going to do. If I ever have the ability to do that, I just want to help people. I just, I love helping people, entertainment, whatever it is. I just, I love it. I love it so much. It's, it's fun. And that's one of my goals in life, just to help people. Just whatever your guys' goals are, pursue them as long as they're morally decent. And let's all just let's all just vibe. Let's all be happy. That's that's my hope. I mean, it's not realistic at all for everybody to be happy in the world. I know that's never gonna happen, but at the end of the day, that's what I want. That's good stuff. And remember, act fast because you know, you think about it, we only if we're just we're 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 just tiny people on this rock flying through space. And we've got 100 years at the most to get our goals done and get our dreams done on this earth. So let's do it, everybody. Let's get it. Knuckles, boom. All right. <laughs> Just do it, everybody. And it, so, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I repeated myself a million times there, but you guys get it. You guys get it. Hopefully that wasn't really annoying. I don't know. Some people say they enjoy this. So that's epic. Thank you guys so much. All right. <clears throat> what do we got here? 20, 29 minutes in? Okay, moving on. I think it's appropriate that I give some advice to people on how to how to grow a YouTube channel. Again, I'm just, I only have 570 subs, which is quite a few. But at the end of the day, I think it's important to just tell people what I do to grow my channel. Because multiple people really do ask me for advice now, which is awesome <laughs> that people are coming to me for advice. All right, <laughs> sure. But the thing is about YouTube, it's so difficult nowadays. YouTube is so tough. It's so difficult to stick out in because everybody does the exact same thing, I feel like. And not, not, it's not that everybody does the exact same thing. It's just there's so many people playing the exact same game. You have to really stick out in some way, and it's so hard to do that. So my advice is to make... Try to make original content, which I mean... 
I make top five videos, so that's not original content at all. But yeah, yeah, make original content. You have to be, you have to be active with your viewers. That's that's another thing. You have to be interactive with your viewers. It's, it's crucial that you do that. That you stay active with them, because it goes back to uploading every single day. If you wanna, if you wanna get big on YouTube, which oh yeah, here I am speaking with all my subscribers. I have so many. I actually, to, honestly, to me, I do, but to some, that's not a lot. But thank you guys so much. Consistency is key. Like I've had a couple people DM me on discord and ask me for advice the one thing i say consistency is key all right everybody upload a video every single day if you can like honestly some people are going to get big by just uploading like two videos that just get huge get hit, get hit the algorithm somehow but if you want to grow a channel you have to up, upload every single day honestly that's that's the best piece of advice i have to you it keeps people coming back it'll keep it'll throw more videos out there to get in the search algorithms uploading every day is your best bet if you want to get big and if you upload like once a week and you're wondering why am I not getting big? First of all, if you upload once a week, your videos have got to be like incredibly good because it's you have to hold people's attention for a full week with one video and expect them to come back. That is extremely hard to do if you're only going to upload once a week. So yeah, just upload every day. It's your best bet, everybody. Just upload every day. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm repeating myself 10,000 times in this podcast, but I always I always feel like that. I don't know. Once again, it's if you guys don't enjoy it, I'm sorry. Uh, you, can, you can click off, but for me, I got all this content for later in life. And once again, you guys should do the same. It's it's lit. <laughs> yeah, stay active. Interact with your viewers. Consistency is key. Your content has to be good. That's the thing. All right. The way I look at my channel is like... <sighs> the live streams usually perform better than the videos. Which is kind of sad. Because... I mean, live streaming is... Live streaming is a lot more fun than making a video. But nobody wants to watch a live stream once it's uploaded. But people want to watch videos. So like... So like the way I think of it is like my live streams bring in the viewers and then I hope that my videos will make them stay. That's what I hope happens on my channel. I really hope that's happening. That'd be epic. But yeah. Yeah, you got to get people to stay and it's got to be through good content because it's like at the end of the day, some, everybody wants to get a lot of subs and some people just don't have good enough content for it. And <laughs> like, I don't know, I guess I can be, if somebody wants to send me some content, I'll tell you, but I don't like to start beef. Anyways. Yeah. Do I have good enough content for it? I don't really know. I kind of feel like I do. But whatever you guys think. Yeah. It's good stuff. That's tough, bro. The thing about these podcasts is I'm always... You guys can probably tell I'm slowing down because I always run out of content like halfway through it, like 30 minutes. And it just... Mm, it makes me so mad. Like, I literally had 84 bullet points prepared and I run out of content every single time I do it solo. Like, every single time. And it's... It's so annoying. God dang it. Shoot. But anyways, yeah, yeah, there's been all, it's tough, dude, it's tough, keeping people entertained for one hour on a podcast, wow, maybe if I talk slower, I feel like I talk really fast, maybe that hurts me, I don't know, like, especially in that top five video, I was speaking at 10,000 words per minute, but yeah, maybe if I tried to slow down every now and then, that would help, <laughs> like, I literally, usually by the end, of, by the end of the podcast, I'm usually feeling lightheaded from speaking so much and talking so fast, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. And like, here's the thing. I'm out of my bullet points. And what am I going to do? All right, here, let's see. Let's go on my phone. Mumbo Jumbo just showed up on my YouTube recommended just right now. Hermitcraft Season 7, Episode 17, Industrial Farming. One of his videos just popped up. What makes Mumbo Jumbo stand out from the rest of, of the Minecraft community? The lucky thing about Mumbo Jumbo is he's got, he's got the YouTube search algorithm on his side. You literally type in Redstone on YouTube right now, Mumbo Jumbo's channel will show up. So if I ever have, if I ever have the search algorithm on my side that much, where if somebody types in, like, zombies and Smitty058 will pop up, which probably won't ever happen, but if that ever happens, that's one way he gets his subs. The search algorithm is definitely on his side. He probably makes trending often. But how did he get to that point? Because at one point, he didn't have that many subs. He had to build it just like the rest of us. And honestly, it comes down, Mumbo Jumbo's, he's really funny. He's got a great personality. He's hes very good at Minecraft. He's got great redstone skills. And it, see, he's got good content. He uploads like every day, I think, or at least every other day. So he keeps people coming back. And his videos are very long and very entertaining. And he's very active. So yeah. That's what makes him stand out. He's just, he's entertaining. And it's, you know, here's the thing. If you're really good at YouTube, I feel like, you're going to eventually get what you deserve, you know? If you're posting really good videos, I think you're eventually going to get recognized and you're going to get the amount of subs that you deserve. And now for me personally, I don't know how many subs I deserve. I just want to keep growing. 
That's my goal. I just want to keep going up and up and up. And I mean, I'll hit my cap someday, but I think, I think I still got a ways to go before I get there. Hopefully. But yeah, eventually you're just going to keep growing. And like my idea, I just want to make a platform that'll get people going quicker because there's a lot of talented people out there that just deserve recognition and they deserve to just get some help along the way to help their channels grow. So if I'm ever able to do that, that would be awesome. So yeah, guys, just be like Mumbo. <laughs> Have the search algorithm in your favor. Because like, YouTube's not helping their small creators out at all. Like, are any of us making the search algorithm? No, we're not. Honestly, the live streams do make recommended, though. Like, live streaming will make you recommended if you get a certain amount of likes, which is cool that that happens. But, like, your videos, they're not going to get recommended, like, anywhere. Like, it's so difficult, man. It's so difficult to get noticed. That's the hardest part. Again, it comes back to the Smith Plays. The Smith Plays told me, uh, I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember what the podcast was. He said, the, the first 1,000 subscribers are the hardest. And I haven't even got the first 1,000 subscribers yet, but I'm getting there, I hope. And yeah, I'm really seeing it. It's so difficult to get your channel noticed by people. It's so tough. Like, not all of us can not all of us can just buy like advertisements on billboards or do anything like that. It's it's difficult to get built up. But yeah, consistency, hard work, I guess, hard work. Like, like here's the thing. Like, all the YouTubers are like, "Oh, I work so hard. I just, <laughs> I grind." Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't really say YouTube is, from my perspective, I wouldn't really say it's hard work yet. Because, like, literally, it's just, like, editing videos. How's that hard work? Like, I've worked on a farm. I could I could separate hard work from, like, YouTube videos. But, like, YouTubers will say they're just grinding hard work. And, like, it's to me, it's not hard work. It's just more time-consuming. It takes up so much time, YouTube does. And it's why I'm missing a couple assignments in school right now. Because I'm just... I'll get them done eventually, all right? I'll get them done eventually. But it's just... YouTube is so time-consuming. If you want to make great content... Did I just say I make great content? If you want to make, like, good content... I think I make good content... It's going to be very time consuming, all right? It's crazy. Unless you're like that one Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, channel ran by Call Me Carson who's got like 300,000 subs where he just posts 15, 14 second snippets. But to grow a channel, you just, it's going to take a lot of time. It really is. It's so time consuming. Like, my well edited videos probably take eight, nine hours. Which is a lot, man. It's so in there. It's like it's boring, man. Editing videos is so boring, but watching them back is a lot of fun. Whereas live streams take like three hours, and I'll gain more subs doing them, but they're not as much fun to watch watch back. Like nobody watches live streams back. So yeah, yeah, consistency. That's what it is, and you have to be ready to spend time on YouTube. I wouldn't say hard work. Not hard work yet for me. Time consuming. That's what it is. It's very time consuming, but it's fun. Once again, the feedback is fun. The feedback is awesome, and that's why you got to keep grinding. Like honestly. If the people show up, you're going to have motivation to keep going. And that's why I have motivation because there's people who are like, all right, I'll play the Minecraft world tonight with you tonight. All right, there's people, I'll watch your top five zombies video. All right, I'll come watch your funny moments video. And that's just, that's what drives me through it all, man. That's what drives me through all the boring times. And to be honest, I don't know how I work my own old channel when nobody watched my videos and I kept uploading there, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Your viewers will get you through it if you, if you get viewers, which is why... I need to build that program to help people. But anyways, join the Discord. You can self-promote your channel. But yeah, yeah. That's what that's what helps Mumbo, the search algorithm a lot. Like, we're not making a search algorithm. Rip. But anyways, yeah, everybody, just stay consistent, y'all. Yeah, I feel like I've just been talking a lot this episode, but I don't know if I'm making any good points. What if I went over, like, just do it. If you have an idea, just do it. Like, literally, just do it. I don't care. Do it now. Some people said they want to start a podcast. My best advice to you is to just do it now. I don't care. Just do it. Who cares what people are going to say about you? Just, just start it, please. It's better to do it now than wait because we only got 100 years at the absolute most. So just get going, all right? Just get going, please. Just sit down tonight. John, actually, I'm probably going to have to go back to doing this at nighttime because I, I keep on having this feeling that I'm going to get interrupted and that's going to be embarrassing because I don't like, again, if, like, I couldn't sit down and have somebody, like, sitting behind me while I'm doing the podcast. That'd be so awkward. And I, I just couldn't do that. And if somebody walks in and we're doing the podcast, I'm just going to. Oh, that would just be so awkward. I, I that'd kill me. So I constantly have this fear that somebody's going to walk in on me, which is why I usually do these at like 11 o'clock at night and it's 3.08 PM right now. So we're doing things a little different here. But anyways, but yeah, yeah. What are we at here? 40, 40 minutes in about, <clears throat> yeah, that's epic. That's epic. And this is what I'm talking about. It gets so difficult. I'm telling you, like for me personally, I should probably be ending it right now since I went through all my bullet points. But the thing is, what OCD? That's what that. What's OCD stand for? I got. I got. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Yes, everything has to be perfect. Obsession is characterized by unreasonable thoughts and fears. 
that lead to compulsive. Is this right? Is this right? Germs or need to arrange objects in a specific manner. Yeah, I need everything to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist. I need all these podcasts to be an hour and one minute long. Eventually, I'll break that. But yeah, like maybe it's not that I'm a perfectionist. Maybe it's, that's just my goal. My goal is an hour and one minute, and I need it to get that long. But how am I going to get there? That's the question when we run out of bullet points. Like, man, it's tough. It really is. And now you guys are probably like, oh my God, he's doing this again. And I know it's, it's, it's terrible. I need to, I need to be more prepared. And like, I would go to ask Reddit, but I literally do that every single time. And it's, it just gets so old. So yeah. Yeah. Oof. We can go back to goals. Let's see where am I at on my goals? A couple episodes I made 1000 subscribers by the end of May. All right. It's April 26th, April 26th. I'm going to go check my channel right now. I want 1,000 subscribers by the end of May, and it's April 26, and I have, we'll go check, and I have 569 subs. So that leads me over 400 subscribers to get in like five weeks, five or six weeks. Am I going to be able to do that? I made that 1,000 sub goal by the before the summer, like a long time ago, a couple weeks, I guess that's a long time ago at this point, maybe like four weeks ago, three or four. And here I am. A couple weeks later, I can look back on it. I've got 569. Am I on pace? Uh, let's see. How many weeks? Can I just ask Siri that? Hey, Siri. How many weeks until the end of May? What kind of a question is that? It's oh. five weeks until then. All right. Well, five weeks. Five weeks. We've got 400, 430 subs left. Hey, Siri. What's 430 divided by 5? 86. We need to gain 86 subscribers a week to get my goal of 1,000 subs. To get my goal of 1,000 subs before summer. Is that a lot? Is that? I'll check social like, like, what am I averaging? That's the question. Hold up. Am I on pace? That's what I want to know right now. Let's see. Oh, wow, I can almost type my name in, right? Let's see. Am I going to reach this goal? I really would like to. That would be 1,000 subs. Do you guys know how many that is? Do you guys know how many subs 1,000 is? That is so many, dude. Oh my god, that's going to be huge. That is going to be a huge video. 1,000 subs. Why is Social Blade broke? <laughs> Social Blade app is so broke. By the way, rip Social Blade when they changed YouTube to make it so that the numbers are like rounded off now. It really rip. It's a rip to Social Blade. But it's all good. Okay, let's see. I need to average 86 a week for the next five weeks. Maybe even a little more than that. But we'll see. Okay, right now I'm averaging, I'm averaging 84 a week right now. So we're not on pace. We're going to be a couple short. We're going to be like 10 short. 8 short. 10 short. But yeah. So I need to step it up a little bit here, and I need to get going. Let's see how many. Like right here, I gained two subs on April 12th. Like thank you to the two people who subbed, but at the end of the day, I my goals are to, to be better than that. And it goes back to the first episode where I was like, all right, if I just get one or two subs a day, I'm happy with that. And I reflect on that now, and I'm like, I would really not be happy with one or two subs a day. I want more than that. Not that I'm greedy. I just... I think I'm better than that. I think I can get more than one or two people new to the channel a day. So, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I need 86 subs, and, I, and I'm and i averaging 84 a week. So, yeah, we're going to have to step it up a little bit. We're averaging 12 a day. Last 30 days, I gained 357 subscribers. So, yeah. And if we have a month until the end of April, April, that's about 400. So we'll, we're going to be very close. Oh, if we're on this pace, hopefully, which hopefully like all the YouTubers talk about that one night, they just wake up and they went from like a thousand subs to like 5,000. They all have that one night where they like kind of go viral, I'll call it overnight. And they just have one video blow up or something. And I'm kind of just waiting for that day. I really hope that day comes for me because I already kind of had it happen. I uploaded a video and I woke up the next day with like 14 more subscribers, which is crazy. That is so many. Thank you all so much for that. But it was like my Nocturne Toten video, which is one of my best performing videos I fell asleep and I woke up okay I fell asleep at 299 subs and I woke up to like 315 or something like that so it was how, however many that is maybe it was yeah it was around there but yeah I gained like 15 16 subs overnight and I was like that's crazy I was like am I having this moment right now that all the youtubers talk about where you wake up the next day and all of a sudden your channel's just blowing up and then it kind of slowed back down but nevertheless I had that I had that I had that vision that I was getting there and I haven't really had a night that good since, I don't think. But nevertheless, it's all good. It's all good. Like, I'm I'm just, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm so happy where I'm at, to be honest. Coming back to this YouTube channel was the best decision that I've made in a long time. <laughs> because, once again, 
I just had this idea. I got to come back to the channel. I don't care what people think. Like, people are going to tease you for it. They're going to be like, oh, why don't you just go, you of all your fans, why don't you just go ask them? And they'll, like, tease you about it. But I think that you just got to keep grinding. You just got to keep grinding. And just don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. And someday you're going to look back on and be like, hey, <laughs> look where I'm at now. But I'm not saying there's anybody really hating on me right now. But I mean, I don't know. I've kind of been teased, I guess. Nah, not really. Not that bad. People have been supporting my YouTube channel, actually. Thank you guys so much. But, anyways, yeah, everybody. So I need to hit a thousand subs by the end of May. And I need to get 86 subs a week to do that. Can we keep that up? That would be epic. Hey Siri, what's 86 divided by 7? How many per day? 12 per day. We'll just go 13 per day because it's a little more than 12. 13 people. Can I bring 13 new people a day into the channel? That sounds like so many. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. See how long that took me to count? I have to get that many people to the channel a day. Every single day. Oh. It sounds like so many, dude. It sounds like so many while doing school, while wanting to get outside. Like, I've been hitting the golf course this week. It's so much fun. It's so good to be back outside, too. But once again, it's the best time to be a content creator right now because everybody's locked inside and nobody has anything to do. So, and once again, I feel like I'm slacking this week. I'm sorry, guys. I really do. I've live streamed too much. I feel like that's not what anybody wants to see. I mean, people like the live streams, but I need to make videos, too. And I'm trying, but they take so long. <laughs> they take so long. Honestly, when the summer comes, I'm not going to be able to make videos at all. No way. While working on the farm, there's no way I'm going to have time to make videos. If I want to edit them, like, as many edits as I do. And I, like, currently I have an edit, like, every at least every second on the videos that I make. Maybe not every second, but it averages out to, like, every couple seconds on, like, the well-edited funny mom moments videos I have. I'm not going to be able to do that this summer because I have to work at the farm. And I just, I'm not going to, I want to get outside. And that's just, it's not going to happen. So I'm really debating, am I going to be able to keep this upload schedule every single day going? Like, live streams could definitely potentially happen at, like, 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, those those should work pretty well. But the, that just makes me feel so lazy, and I don't think people will stay if all I do is live stream. I think people will be like, oh, yeah, I subbed, and then I'll live stream something else. They won't care. They might unsub. It's difficult, man, and I'm going to have I'm gonna have a whole road ahead of me here. It's going to be interesting to see how, how I handle this, to see if I can upload every single day. I think I've uploaded every single day for the last, like, 50 days, which is epic. But, yeah, that's where we're at, dude. That's where we're at. Summer's coming. I'm looking forward to it. We all are. We all want to get outside. Hopefully coronavirus is done by then. We all just want to go outside and start vibing. And yeah, and even me as an introvert, like some people are like, oh, I, I don't mind this lockdown or whatever, this quarantine. I'm like, I don't really either. But at the end of the day, would I rather be outside right now? Yes, I would. And yeah, and it's unfortunate that schools, I think our, honestly, I'm in North Dakota, so our school might, I don't know, we might get a weekend maybe. I don't know. It's not looking good though. Like by the time we get back, it'll be time for finals if we get back. So there's no point. So yeah, dude, it's it's gonna be an interesting road. And if you guys want to leave comments, what you want to see, I'll I'll probably listen to those. But at the end of the day, I also want to do what I want to do. It's a hard balance, it really is. It's gonna be so interesting, which is why I need to get a schedule going so I know what to do. Like top five videos really don't take that long to make. Live streams are gonna be easy. Minecraft builds don't take that long to make for the videos, but they can take a couple hours to build. It's just the funny moments, which are my favorite videos that I make are funny moments. Those take so long. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to make like any of those this summer. Unless I want to be warm. Unless I don't want to sleep. Sleep is for the week. Like shout out to the UK friends who watch into our live stream, my live streams. Like you guys are up to like 5 a.m. every morning watching the live streams. It's just crazy. That's like, that's the support that I love. Like, thank you guys so much. Our UK friends. Like I start the streams at like nine o'clock my time, which is like two o'clock your time in the morning. And it's just, you guys are crazy. I don't know if... People from other countries don't sleep, apparently. Apparently, only people from the U.S. sleep, I guess. That, that's what I've that's what i learned from doing my live streams. I have multiple people from, like, Ireland, from, like, the U.K. They're like, hey, it's, like, it's like 3 in the morning for me right now. I'm like, what are you doing at my live stream? Then you should be sleeping. It's good stuff, though. <laughs> have I made any points this podcast? I really feel like... I feel like I've just been talking, but nothing. no points have been made. I hope it hasn't been boring. If anybody still listens, shout out to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But, like, it's crazy. Once again, like, so uncomfortable. I'm, we're so unprofessional. I'm just sitting in this little chair. I've, It's sunny out. I want to get outside. Now, I already hit the course today. I don't really want to get outside, but I just, I'm very uncomfortable sitting in this little chair. I need to get some improvements. And yeah. Ooh. Here's another question. People probably aren't listening to the podcast still, but if you're still listening, another question. People are like, when are you going to do a face reveal? And here's the idea I came up with. I think using a face cam is the next way to make my content that much better. It's one way I look at to really improve my content would be by using a face cam. Like, the thing is, like, I watch gameplays of people 
with a face cam and half the time I'm not even watching them play. I'm just watching their face cam for some reason. I don't know if any other people do that, but half the time I'm just watching their reaction to the game they're playing. And I think face cams are just awesome because then I could do reaction videos if I want. Like Dova, shout out to you. And they said I should react to watch Mojo's top 10 zombies list because they're just absolutely terrible. <laughs> they put Buried as the scariest zombies map. Like, come on, watch Mojo. You guys have never played zombies in your life. I, I, I mean, I think I've seen those videos, but it's been a long time since I have. So it'd be a good reaction video topic for me. And yeah, reaction videos would be awesome. And that's one of those ideas that I, I have that idea in my mind right now. It's probably going to happen someday, but I have to get a face cam first. And to be honest, with you, I don't have the right setup for a face cam at all. I just, when I play games, I just sit in a recliner. I don't know. My TV is just sitting on a, sitting on a table. I use a little Mac for editing and live streaming, which is why I can't do donations. I mean, not that you guys have to donate to me at all. I wouldn't donate to me, but my, I can't use overlays because my computer can't handle them and live streaming at the same time. So I don't even do Streamlabs. Otherwise, I, I think like, people donating, I think it popping up on stream is just part of the hype. So I don't want to have people's donations not pop up because that's not hype at all. So yeah, I don't do donations. Basically, what I'm saying is my setup just sucks. <laughs> and I need to get a new setup. So this Christmas, maybe we'll get the face reveal because like my parents will buy me all the stuff. I ask for it for Christmas, not me. So <laughs> I might just have to wait till then. And then we'll got to get like a gaming chair a face cam, a good table. We need a lot of things if I'm going to invest in the setup. We'll see where we're at. Oh, my God, dude. Where are we going to be at by Christmas? Holy crap. What if we have, like, a couple thousand subs? That would be epic. What if we have tens of thousands of that? I couldn't even imagine that many people watching my videos. That would be a dream come true, to be honest. That is definitely one of my dreams. Wow, dude. This picture that big of a fan base. Tens of thousands of people. Crazy, bro. That's actually crazy. That's crazy. And like during the Minecraft live streams, you guys were telling me that I've I'm good enough to to get like that big of a following, I think you guys said. Which is thank you for boosting my ego. But that is just that's crazy to think that you guys believe in me that much and I really appreciate it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Thank you guys so much. That's epic. But yeah, what are we fifty two minutes in? Yeah. That's good stuff. Oh man. See I'm getting very uncomfortable right now just sitting in this chair. I really just want to get up and move. But nevertheless, we're stuck here. We got a couple more minutes. Let's finish it out. Hey, if you're still listening, shout out to you. You're epic. Some, I got told in my live stream, I think, that somebody was watching like the first five episodes of the podcast. They've watched them all. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Or they listen to them all. I'm like, that's crazy. Thank you so much for that. That's epic. Once again, that's one of my goals. If you guys want to watch this to take something away, go ahead and do it. This episode, I don't really know. I feel like I always have this feeling that I'm not even like making sense with my words. Maybe that's true in this episode. I don't even remember what I talked about. I said, just do it. If you have dream, just do it. Just start now because you're not getting any younger. Just get it done now. And yeah, that's, that, was, that was my first point. I don't even know if I did that very well. Trust your instincts. We're told not to. We're told to do this, do this, do this. Just trust your instincts. That was one point. Follow your dreams. Just do it, Nike. That was another point. And then I gave some tips on how to do YouTube. Stay consistent. How does Mumbo do it? He's got the search algorithm on his side. I made that point. If I ever get big on YouTube and I have some sort of like persuasion, you know, if I have the ability, I'm going to make a platform where people can, how, I don't really have any ideas for that, but it's something I want to do. I'll make it easier for people to get recognized. And I just want to help people. At the end of the day, I just want to help people. I just get so much satisfaction from making people's days better. If they tell me good video, that I take that as I made their day a little better and I, enter, I entertain them a little bit. That's epic. That's all I can ask for. And I really appreciate that. So thank you guys so much for the comments and everything and the love. Let's go. Holy crap. <clears throat> We are getting very uncomfortable in this tiny little chair. I need a recliner in here. That would be epic. That's what I thought for my first podcast. I just set my mic like on my bed, and I just thought I'd lay back and like sleep while talking. It didn't turn out very well. I can't. Turns out you can't focus very well while sleeping. So I was just laying on my back, and I just <laughs> I couldn't focus. So I I just had to move the setup over here, and I'm just sitting on this very uncomfy chair. But yeah, things have changed, man. Things have changed from the first podcast. I think I'm getting. Am I getting better at these? Are these interesting? I don't know. I really don't know. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna ha I have these to look back on, and that's epic. That's that's the main goal. That is the main goal. <sighs> Which is crazy. Which is crazy. That's epic. So yeah, not professional at all. This is the Smithify podcast. Crazy. We're already 54 minutes in, and here we are. Hmm. <sighs> what is there to talk about, everybody? What is there? <sighs> Just what's up, dude? What's up? I hope you're all doing fine, dude. I hope we're all staying safe during this pandemic. I think our, we've hit our climax already. I mean, like my state, I think we're fine. Not Maybe not the whole state. I think there's a couple outbreaks. But like my town, I think we're fine to get back to doing stuff to normal, which we already do do things normally pretty much. But it's about time to get back to doing things normally, I think. 
I think we're getting close. We've already hit the climax of the coronavirus, I hope, which is what people, which is what people fear because now the second wave might be coming. But at the end of the day, I don't know, man. I hope we're all doing fine. I hope y'all are doing fine. I hope you, your relatives are staying safe. I just, I just want people to be happy and stay safe. At the end of the day, that's what I want, man. That's what I want. All right, let's see here. What's an easy way to make you angry with a word or sentence? Fair. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where we're at. Hmm. Ooh, ideas for podcasts. Dude, I've, I've wanted to change up the podcast a little bit and not do the same thing every time. And I was thinking like, See, the reason I'm to go inquire now is because I feel like I'm going to get interrupted soon, so I'm trying to, like, not be heard. So you guys probably noticed that I have this fear that people, somebody's just going to walk in on me, and I hear people in the background, and I don't, don't want them to walk into my room. Yeah, that's how it is. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the interruption. Oh, 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 oh. Go back, go back. All right. Now we're good. We're good. He's gone. One of these days, somebody's just going to walk in on me, and I'm just going to be doing the podcast. And I'm just going to be like, hey, what's up? And I was like, oh yeah, ideas for podcasts. Okay, I want to do a podcast at like 3 a.m. <laughs> just just to see what my 3 a.m. thoughts are. That's 12 hours from now. It's currently 3.25 p.m. for me. Imagine me doing a podcast at 3 a.m. It's going to be so low energy. I think I'm going to like it, man. Because like if you're okay, if you're tired in a car ride coming home from a sporting event or something and you turn on like a 3 a.m. podcast, that could like put you to sleep because I'm probably going to be like, hey guys, welcome back to the Sminify podcast episode number whatever. Today we're here at 3 a.m. and I just think that would be epic. Just having doing a podcast at three in the morning. <laughs> that'd be so, that'd be so cool. And the religion podcast. I think for episode number ten, I'm gonna do talk about religion just because that's that's really interesting. People debate religion a lot, and I'm gonna get my friends on here. We're probably gonna do the religion podcast. That'll be awesome. And what other podcast do I want to do with my little brother? <laughs> I might do one with my 13 year old little brother to see what he thinks on the world. Once again, I'll get anybody on this podcast if you want to be a guest. Drop something in the comments. Just ask. I already have a couple people who want to get on, which is epic. I'm definitely gonna get the invite those people on. But if we get a line set up, that would be epic because then I have many, multiple people to pick from, which would be awesome. So if you hey, if you're listening to this, you want to come on, do it. Just do it. Why not? I'll invite you, and we'll just find things to talk about. Differences, similarities, anything. It's good stuff. Ah oh, man, what do we out here? 57 minutes. It's tough to keep people entertained for an hour, but I'm not very good at this. But I don't know. Are there still people listening? That's the question of the day. Hmm. I mean, hey, my future self probably is. What should I tell my future self right now? Ooh, here's what my history teacher was talking about. Like right now, everybody has that one huge event in their life. You know, like our grandparents, JFK died, 9-11. JFK assassination was a huge event. 9-11 was a huge event. What's the, what's going to be the huge event of our lifetime? Like usually there's only one or two that people experience. And my history teacher's like, the truth is, we always talk about, like, what's that big event that's going to happen for your generation? And right now, it's probably it. The coronavirus is the big event that everybody's going to remember and be taught about for the rest of the time. And we're living it right now. And take one positive thing away from it. And I don't, I, I, mean, I mean, that's an assignment that was due last Friday, but I, I don't even got that done. Oops. <laughs> what is one good thing I could take away from the coronavirus? Uh, more family time, I guess. I don't know. Oh, one, my mom used to travel like an hour, like well over an hour to her work and now she gets to stay home. So it's awesome having her home all the time. So that's one positive keeping families together, I guess. But I think the negatives kind of outweigh the positives of the coronavirus. But yeah, everybody, this is our, for our generation, this is at least one of the big deals that we're going to remember for the rest of our lives. The time when most of us were seniors and we didn't get to graduate because of the a giant pandemic going around. And yeah. And Hey, maybe Kim Jong-un's death, maybe the, is that happening right now? Is he dead yet? Who knows? Hopefully. But anyways, his death will be, that'll be, I don't know who's taking over North Korea then. That, that could be scary. I'm rambling. All right. Yeah, we got it though. This is, coronavirus is a big event. We're going to remember for the rest of our lives, I think. I don't really know. I, I'm i just a junior, so I'm just five, and I, I'm not graduating this year, so I don't really care. If I was a senior, I'd be sad because track, uh, I want to do track. I'd like to graduate. <laughs> Some people are graduating on Roblox, which is sick, but hey. <laughs> It's good stuff. So sometimes we just got to look back and we got to be like, hey, here we are. We're in the coronavirus pandemic. How special of us. So yeah, this will be the big event of my lifetime. Michael Jackson's death was a pretty big deal. I don't know why I remember I was when Michael Jackson died, but I was in a truck with my dad. I was like seven years old. And I still remember that somehow. I don't know. That was a big deal. So yeah. Yeah, everybody's got that big event, 9-11. I wasn't alive for 9-11. I was a year I was a year away from being born in 9-11. That would have been crazy, man. Jesus. If 9-11 happened today, 
it's it's interesting. And we got the coronavirus, which kind of kind of sucks. Yeah. Am I happy to be in this generation? I think I am. I love this generation, dude. The only thing, the only thing I'm jealous of my parents' generation is their music. That's it. Like, I want Queen still alive. I want Michael Jack still alive. I want, like, I don't know, all these old bands, ACDC still going. I don't even know. I just want all those, all that old music coming back. Like, that's, I want their music. That's it. Everything else I don't want. I just want their music. Like, I want to keep TikTok. TikTok's amazing. <laughs> TikTok makes me love, makes me love my generation for the memes on there. But yeah, I wouldn't. I would, I love it. We're, life's the easiest it's ever been for us. Like we have internet at the fingertips. We can do whatever we want, type something and we can get the answer to anything if we want. My parents didn't have that when they were younger. And of course they complain about it. My parents kind of are boomers, but it's kind of funny. Everything sucks nowadays, doesn't it? (laughs) But anyway, no, I love them. I love my parents. They're amazing. Incredible. Uh, I'm so fortunate. But anyways, we better wrap it up here. We're rambling, aren't we? I hope this podcast made sense. That's my goal. (sighs) I think I might have just rambled a lot and I didn't make any sense. But yeah, hopefully you guys took something away. Just do it. If you have a passion, if you have a dream, start start working at it right now, dude. Who cares what people are going to say? Just start working at it right now. Just just go. Let's go. Cash, show me. Like I hit the lottery. Okay, what am I doing? Here? Just do it. Just do it. Follow your instincts. If you want to do a YouTube channel, send me your channel. I'll review it or something. I don't know. I like to start beef, so I'll probably be nice to you. But <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. It's been Spinify Podcast. If you want to be a guest, comment down below. This has been the Smithify Podcast, episode number eight, where we ramble. I hope I made sense, but at the end of the day, I love doing this. Thank you guys so much. It's been Smitty. Thank you all for 500 subs. Cheyo. Check back tomorrow night for the 500 subs special. Thank you all so much for listening, watching everything. <sighs> hope you enjoyed your zombies game, your plan while you're doing this, or your Minecraft world. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. It's been Smitty. Peace out. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you listening. I'll see you next week. Goodbye. I should probably end it with peace out. That's what I always do. Peace out. <laughs>